here at Sunway. I teach grade 8 math and science. So today, Mr. Nash and I are going to do an experiment where we separate two liquids from a mixture. Our mixture is going to consist of 50 milliliters of water and 15 milliliters of ethanol. A key piece of information is that those two liquids have different boiling points. Water boils at 100 degrees Celsius and ethanol boils at a lower temperature of 78 degrees Celsius. Thanks Ginger, my name is Ryan Nash. I'm a grade seven uh, science and maths teacher at Sunway. Um, now in front of us we have a solution of water and ethanol. Now as Ms. Ginger explained earlier, that water has a boiling uh, point of 100 degrees Celsius and ethanol 78.3 degrees. So what's gonna happen here is we're gonna put that Bunsen burner underneath the solution to heat it up. And as we see the temperature rising, Okay, the ethanol will start to evaporate when it gets closer to 78 degrees. All right? and as it evaporates, it turns obviously, obviously turns into a gas. It'll then move down this apparatus. Now, in this apparatus, we've got cold water pumping through it, okay, or along the outside. That will cool down the ethanol and turn it back into a liquid form. It's going to condensate. Okay? As it condensates, it turns into a liquid form, it'll start to flow down these pipes and into this beaker over here. Okay, so let's give it a go. Right, now we need to watch the thermometer. Okay, and we need to manage the temperature. If we get it, let it go, go too high, the water will start to boil as well. And we don't want the water in there as well. Okay, we want to separate the two liquids. Okay, so we want to keep the temperature at about 78 degrees. Okay, so let me just turn this off quickly. We've, we've had, this, uh, we've had this, this solution boiling for a while now at 78 degrees. And what's happened is the ethanol has evaporated. Okay, it's got turned into a gas. It's then condensated, turned into a liquid, and then flowed down the pipe into the flask. And what Miss Ginger has then done, she's taken the ethanol out of the flask and poured it into um, a measuring apparatus. Um, Ms. Ginger, how much ethanol do we have there? So you can see uh, that we have almost exactly 15 milliliters, which is quite delightful because that's what we started with. So it's clear that it is the ethanol that has evaporated and then condensated into our flask and the water is still in the original container. Okay, so understanding the properties of different liquids allows us to do what we've accomplished today, which is to separate the parts of a mixture. So because we understand that the, the ethanol and the water have different boiling points, we were able to successfully get the ethanol back from the, the mixture by distillation. So our experiment has been a success, and we thank you, and that's the end.